Hello, people. How y'all doing at this? Oh, sorry about that. Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment of time? Just wanted to come on for a minute and talk to y'all for a little moment. But before we get off into that, let's get off into a prayer and let's do it fast, okay? So we get this all out of the way. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, blessing us to see a new day. Watch our words, God, us pray for us throughout this day. Lead us throughout this day, Father God, show us the way. And I pray, Father God, you come through me at this moment of time in order to get the people out to salute you. And I pray, Father God, you let the Holy Spirit come through me at this moment of time in order to get the people out to salute you. And I thank for this. Thank for this to my prayer, Father God. Amen. All right, now. What I want to speak about is uh, these wicked ones that keep trying to uh, get in the way of the people's growth. You know, and um, <clears throat> like I said, these wicked ones got to fall. These wicked things got to fall because there's no, uh, 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 um, all the negativity that's been going on, these things got to fall. There's no other way. The Lord has already been speaking of these things. Well, I'm going to say, they have to happen. The things that <clears throat> the Lord is doing, excuse me for saying that part, but it's the things that the Lord is doing at this moment in time, things got to change. The Lord wants peace, guys. <laughs> Seriously. The, Lord's want, the Lord wants peace. A lot of people say, yeah, the Father works and Jesus works, you know, all day, every day. Yeah, they do. And I know they don't get tired. But he does want peace. I know the Lord, I'm going to say this. He got to be able to take a break sometime. <laughs> You know, and um, it's just, it, 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 we've been through a lot, and he fights for us, guys, you know, and um, he really does, him and the Lord, Jesus, and the angels and the family and everybody, and they try and, they, well, things are already been done you know in the spirit so they're just continuing here I mean they're just uh, finishing up here in the spirit I mean uh, in the physical okay <coughs> these things have happened because I want you to know how these things happen you know in the spirit and then you know transfer to the to the uh, physical excuse me for the noise again um what I want you to know, also too, I'm, I'm speaking to some of these um, ones too. Uh, it's a little bit confused out there in the, in the planet. And if you're listening, what I want you to know is, Jesus was spiritual. He wasn't religious. God is spiritual. He isn't religious, you understand? That's why I'll be telling y'all, like, you don't have to go to church in order to have church with yourself. You are the temple. Your body, your vessel is the temple. God wants a relationship with you. You ain't gonna find him, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, not speaking about the church thing or whatever, you know, in a bad way or thing like that. But what I'm saying is, he's not in the church at this moment in time. The church age has kind of like, they messed up and they keep trying to pinpoint, oh, if you ain't, you don't go to church this and you don't go to church that, no, you ain't this, you ain't that, you this. They, they criticize and call y'all types of names. What church would I want to, excuse me for that, no. What, what church would I want to go to that would sit here and talk about me <laughs> and blasphemy and all types of things 
and I rebuke and I bind them by the cast of that. What church would I want to go to that talks crazy and do all these things? That is not of God. First of all, first thing I'm gonna say is, this is not God's church. It ain't. It ain't hard to see that. God's people wouldn't be doing these things. We don't do those things. We don't blaspheme people. We don't uh, 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 do all this wickedness and talk about people. And we don't get into those type of things. Jesus taught us way more than that. Father God taught us way more than that. We don't get into those type of things. That's why I can't see, that's why I don't understand. This is what I'm trying to tell you. If you're listening, about a religion. Religion is a bondage. Okay, excuse me for the noise. Religion is a bondage. I want y'all to know this now. So anybody trying to chastise you, talking about some going to church and this and all that there and this and that, listen to me. The people in the church is the more wickedest people on this whole, and I'm gonna say this, they more wicked than the, 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 the um, the uh, what they call them, uh, the young um, gang affiliates. They more, they wicked than the gang affiliates. At least some of the gang affiliates have hearts. <laughs> you know, they don't. They're demons. They're demons. You understand? And this is what I want y'all to know because, and not trying to, you know turn nobody against nothing but I'm letting you know what's real and what's what's fact not just something I'm just talking about here this is the whole reason why I was taught by the Lord instead of them and I was and every time I was on my journey I would wonder what a person was saying about these things oh we got to get off into this too but these are the ones that keeps trying to stop the people of God and the children of God's growth and also, they're against marriage. And trying to also stop it. Remember when I was telling y'all, y'all go back to some of my videos and I talk about these things about how people try and get in the way of other people's uh, life form and try and tell them what to do. And, and, and ain't got no, no, can't say nothing about nothing because they don't know nothing because they thinking that <clears throat> what it is is they trying to tie you down and put a bond on it. And I rebuke and I bind them up and I cast them out of here. And I want y'all to know these things because um, this, 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 what you, what they teaching you about the Lord. All right, it is not of the Lord. So not to try and confuse you or nothing like that, but what I want you to know is. Jesus was spiritual. If I tell you some things, I'm gonna have to tell you on a whole nother video. If I tell you, all right, if I tell you some things, it'll mess you up. It'll really like mess your mind up like, what? All the things, listen, the things that they taught y'all, uh, that, 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 that the planning has taught, that they tried to program people and things like this here, is not what God taught the people. That's why he pulled, his, this is why he isolate. This is why God isolate. This is the difference between God isolation and the enemy's isolation. <laughs> you understand? So God is going to teach you, prune you, pluck you, show you, groom you. And that's what the enemy be trying to do to pull you away from the Lord, you know. But you hang on to his gown, all right. You hang on to his garments with everything that you got. And you soak up and you keep fighting and you keep fighting and you keep fighting and you soak up what the Lord has for you so you can understand the real spiritual knowledge of what he's trying to give you. The Lord can't work through people with bondages. That's why he pulled you away from those things and why he said, come out of them, my people. Meaning the church. Come out of them, my people. Come away from amongst them. This is real. A lot of people don't even understand these things and this is why I be trying to tell you and teach you. All right, but you're gonna see it. 
Watch. You're going to see it. And I'm just letting you know, you know. So the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I've been through these things, man. And it's, it was very nasty. You know, it was very, let's get off to it. I had to pry. The Lord had to pry me. And they still mess up with me, you know, but it, that's okay. Come on. Father God, I pray and I promise up, Father God. <clears throat> and I want you to know the truth. This is why the Lord is spiritual. Let go all bun let all, all negative things, all those low vibrational toxic foods, all those low vibrational toxic uh, patterns of what somebody's trying to teach and preach you. You get in the word yourself and you learn and you build a relationship with God. You build a relationship by getting in his word. You understand me? And you build a relationship. Ain't nobody got to teach you nothing. Because Holy Spirit going to come to you and he's going to teach you himself. This is the spirit of the Father. Build a relationship with him and you'll see. He'll show you everything. I pray and I promise up for the God. If it cuts off, guys, I probably just have to extend it. I pray and I promise up for the God that you bring down, that you send out swords of death, I swords of death, I whoop the war, of God, that these evildoers that keeps trying to get in the way of the people of God, the children of God, all, uh, growth all over the whole entire planet, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm, the earth is spirit realm, the earth is in this realm, the universe is spirit realm, the universe is in this realm. I pray and I promise I declare the cure on some voice of command. And I pray and I promise up for the God that you expose these evildoers that keeps trying to get in the way of the people of God and the children of God, growth all around the whole entire up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit ran, the kingdom of heaven, up in this ran, the earth and spirit ran, the earth been this ran, the universe and spirit ran, the universe of been this ran. I pray and I prophesy, I declare the cure on the sign of what's like a man. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God. You say I swore the devil, I swore the weapons of war, the universe. You say I swore the devil, I swore the weapons of war. Jesus, you say I swore the devil, I swore the weapons of war. I said I swore the devil, I swore the weapons of war. Ancient ones, you say I swore the devil, I swore the weapons of war. Sister Master, you say I swore the devil, I swore the weapons of war. You, uh, God, you sound so what the devil I swore the weapons of the war. Avenging angel, tiger angel, tower angel, power angel, power angel, archangel, dominion angel, avenging angel, war angel. Y'all sound so what the devil I swore the weapons of the war. Cancel me, sound so what the devil I swore the weapons of the war. Um, uh, <coughs> sister master, you sound so what the devil I swore the weapons of the war. Um, Guns, you sound swords of death, I swore that above the war. Troops, you sound swords of death, I swore that above the war. I said, I was swords of death, I swore that above the war. To destroy and to bring down all these uh, evil doers that's been trying to um, get in the way of the people of God and the children of God's growth all around the whole entire planet. Up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit, and the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm. Earth in the spirit, and earth in this realm. Universe in the spirit, and the universe up in this realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare the cure and sign before the command. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Father God. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Jesus. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Angel One. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Sister Man. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Mount Angel. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Universe. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, Sister Man. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, the Council. There's all the commandment, Jehovah, me. Everybody from the multi universe, oh my God. I pray and I prophesy, I declare the cure and sign before the command. I pray y'all take the message to the Lord Jesus Christ this moment of time. Get to some fast and praying, some reading your word, build a relationship with the Lord, commune with the Lord. Now this is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.